Okay, the title in the thumbnail may be a, a little bit clickbaity, because nothing is perfect, but it's getting close though. And no, not the upgraded version of this A28 that I thought it would be, but this latest release from the Rob Vivon, the E8 Hybrid Power Kitchen Flashlight. I'll be comparing what should have been the one versus this uh, new contender. Welcome back to UDC channel. I'll walk you through my quest of searching the, for the perfect auroras, or I should say raw vivon. I won't say much about these lights, as I had reviewed them before. I'll put the link for them. So instead, in this video, I'll, I will be kind of comparing these two back and forth. But I think this brand new E8 will get more coverage. And I'll try to separate them and put the timestamp so you guys can select which section to watch. Just a heads up, I think it's going to be a long one because I'm, I'll try to cover as much as possible. This OG A8 is um, still one of my all-time favorite from Raw Vivon. On my previous video, I said that I wish it is also um, glow in the dark, so I did a little mod. I added a glue tube inside and some tape on the battery. This is not my first angel eyes and not my first dual button raw vivon there is this e200u which i had reviewed before as well while it doesn't have the clear plastic body and uses a metal one instead it still have it still has side leds but the option i have is a uvc which is kind of useful during this uh, pandemic time it is my first hybrid dual power um, source light as you can see this uh, i already put the uh, AAA inside and the silver one is the billion lithium battery this is quite a bit bigger when compared to uh, the new E8 I was waiting patiently for the upgraded version of this the E28X then I got impatient I was so happy when I found one of the retailers who still have the older version of this A28. Well at least that's what I thought. But I was so disappointed when I received the newer version instead. Turned out that they had not updated the description on their website. More on this later. This is also a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Versus uh, 16 340 light. And uh, 18 350 light. Maybe because I'm used to their um, tiny little ones. But actually this is a nice size to be um, handled um, comfortably. Then they came up with this Angel Eyes um, E8 instead. I believe this is their latest release for, um, as of when this video was uh, released. This at least fixes a couple of my cons from this one. Rovivon have, has been actively coming up with new releases uh, recently. Including upgrading most if not all of their series. Okay, back to this. And what's missing to make this uh, the one? Cons number one. They all have been upgraded to USB Type-C now, which will definitely be added in the upcoming um, A28X if they decided to finally release it. But this is a minor con compared to the next one, at least for me. Um, this is more for um, future proofing and just bring one cable for everything. Cons number two. This is the biggie one for me, which is the moonlight mode, or the lack of it. I know they probably want to be consistent, cause on this, I think all of these others have press and hold for turbo. But on the A28 older version, they did have a press and hold for moonlight instead. Of course I prefer a shortcut to constant firefly mode.
but momentary moonlight is still better than no moonlight at all. I will be happy to settle with this and call it a day, just if only it doesn't have this particular con. The other cons I can still tolerate. And I can also still understand if a bigger tactical type flashlight are missing a true moonlight mode. Normally we or at least um, I won't put a tactical light on my bedside. This however is a perfect bed light. But the low 30 lumens for the Nietzsche version is way too bright to use at night. Which is uh, probably 90% of my use case. This could have been solved by the side LEDs, but one, the red light is also still too bright at 18 lumens. Now it need to be bright for the blinking modes, since it is used for signaling purposes. But for the constant red, I was hoping there's a low and high, or even just low for constant and then the high blink is. And two. I think there's a decent low on the white of 3 lumens, but since there are only 2 side LEDs, I had to pick 2 out of 3 options, and I choose the red and UV for maximum versatility. If I knew this is the older version, I would have picked the white side LED option, sacrificing either the red or the UV, and settled with the 3 lumens low as my uh, moonlight. Okay, and cons number 3, as I mentioned earlier. Only two set LED instead of three like the A8. I was wondering why they can't fit three LEDs on the bigger one, but they can on the smaller ones. Such a pity and a waste of potential in my opinion. Would be a complete and a more versatile if only they copy the A8. Okay, last but not least, cons number four. It does have user replaceable battery now. But sadly, it's still a proprietary one. Other comments and thoughts. Improved removable um, deep carry clip. Like the style as well. Sort of have this um, custom clip design. Very beautiful TIR lens. Just like the older or the smaller version. Throwy, but still um, have nice beam patterns with nice and smooth transition to the spill. Some interesting detail the body tube is not actually round but square with rounded corners. The top is obviously need to be flat for the SAT LEDs, probably the back too for the clip, but these two sides are also flattened. They are grooves like the smaller one, but instead for the clip it's probably more for the grip since it's kinda smooth and slippery. Another small grip grooves on the stainless steel bezel which I think looks really nice versus the smaller version with just plain smooth um, stainless steel bezel. Normally I like to attach a paracord lanyard but probably will skip for this. I definitely wouldn't put a steel split ring. The plastic seems thin, plus there are uh, more cutouts here, especially compared to the rest of the bigger body. I'm afraid I will break it instantly. Okay, I think that's it for uh, this one. Let's see and wait for the A28X. Okay, recap for the cons, number one. No USB Type-C yet, still using micro USB. No moonlight mode, which is a deal breaker for me. Only two different side LEDs instead of three. And using proprietary battery.